When you think of back surgery, the last thing that comes to mind is approaching the spine from the front. After all, the spine is located at the back of your body. But every day, a growing body of evidence points to the increasing benefits of performing corrective spine surgery from the front of the body, rather than the back, in a procedure known as an anterior spine surgery. So now you're probably wondering, why go from the front to get to the back? Throughout your lifetime, the discs between the bones in your spine may become worn out or dehydrated, resulting in pain and discomfort. To fix these damaged spinal discs, they may need to be accessed by a spine surgeon. But the back, or posterior side of the spine, prevents easy access to those discs in front of the spine, requiring the spine surgeon to navigate through sensitive nerves and major muscles, as well as remove bone to reach the disc. So when we're talking about the options of either an anterior approach, like the anterior lumbar interbody fusion, versus the more traditional posterior approaches, there's a huge difference in recovery. The reason for this is because in posterior approaches, we're splitting the muscles. And even in minimally invasive posterior approaches, you're still going through that muscle bed, and that causes pain. The muscles have to heal, they scar, and some patients have chronic symptoms from that posterior intervention. On the other hand, an anterior or frontal approach minimizes this muscle damage, resulting in faster operations, less blood loss, and ultimately, shorter hospitalization and recovery times. Well, the recovery after this anterior lumbar inner body fusion is that most patients go home a day after the procedure. They're up and walking around. We want them to limit their lifting to about 10 pounds for the first two weeks. But then from two weeks on, we let them slowly get back to their normal lifestyle. They're not participating in sports, but they're working on their core exercises. And then once we are sure that the fusion is progressing, usually at about three months, we'll let them increase their activities. So the benefits of an anterior approach are clear. And even though an anterior approach sounds more complicated, it's made easier in most cases with the help of a specialty surgical team member known as an access surgeon. My role as an access surgeon, basically my job is to allow access to the front of the spine. Because when you think about it, the spine is behind everything, literally everything. The disc is in the front of the spine. The spine is like these blocks with a little cage in the back. And so in between the blocks is where the disc is. Well, that's in the front. And then the nerves and everything are in the back. So if they want to get to the disc most directly, it's from the front. I'm basically moving everything out of the way so that the spine surgeon can see the front of the spine. Well, the procedure is actually uh, very simple. We, we do the procedure with an access surgeon who's a general surgeon who's trained in vascular problems because we have to get to the front of the spine. Although we make an incision in the front of the belly, we actually go in between the six-pack muscles and the access surgeon then dissects underneath the six-pack muscle on the one side and stays within the wall of the abdomen. And so if we come in from the front, we're right there where we need to be, and we have a lot of opportunity to take out the disc and to put devices in that are biomechanically larger, stronger, and um, frankly, just better options than trying to get something in from behind. These better device options include more advanced spinal fusion implants. Take the standalone intrabody fusion device, or Stalif, for example. The Stalif is a device that is used for fusions. And in layman's terms, when we're talking about a spinal fusion, what that means is that we're removing one of the discs, one of the shock absorbers between two bones in the spine, and we have to put something in there to hold that space open and to allow bone to grow across. So in essence, a fusion means that one bone is growing to another. With the Stalif, the way that is accomplished is that the device holds the space open, 
It provides a tunnel through which bone can grow, and it allows us to use screws to anchor that device into the bone. If you think of when somebody breaks an arm or a leg and a cast is put on, we're trying to hold things still so that the bone can heal. In the same way, in the spine, if we put a device in between two bones and hold it still with screws that keep it locked in place, we're giving it the ability to allow bone growth, and that's what a fusion is. When it's successful, the bones are grown together. So if you are considering surgery on your back, ask your doctor about approaching it from the front.